Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Chan. Ain't your mima, ain't your mama, ain't your daddy. Y'all, we know. I don't even have to explain. We're talking about James Charles. Now, most of us, the majority of us, are on the same page. You know, we, before I get started, before I get started, I have talked about James Charles on my channel um, a couple of times, and I have publicly shared my distaste for that dude because, because I just don't like him. He's ugly, he's annoying, just like me, but like he's way more ugly and more annoying. When I tried to watch him, when I tried to watch him, in his videos you could just tell he was rude, you know? When he would try to sing, when he tried to sing, I, 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 James. <laughs> I don't really know the point of this video. I am just here to share my thoughts about what went down with um, James Charles and Queen Tati. <laughs> First of all, James, you're guilty. You've been guilty. <laughs> I'm so happy to say this. You are sentenced to literally the electric chair. Now, before we send James off to the electric chair, I do want to obviously give my thoughts and my opinions. Opinions. I don't even know where to start with James. I, I guess I know where to start. Seeing all of the drama surround James and all of this going down and everybody talking about it, it just brings me back to my relationship with YouTube, not as a creator, but as a viewer. Like most of us, if not all of us, we found YouTube at like the perfect time. Like I personally found it at a time where I was unhappy and just you know really going through it and i luckily found youtube and it was my escape where i could watch real people you know do their thing express themselves and be entertaining you know and i looked up to that and those people that i watched growing up and that i still watch today i'm inspired by them and i aspire to you know do what they are doing one day y'all know and to see people like james charles come around and just be fake and have a persona like james charles that name that's not him he never displayed his true self he never was himself he had a mask on the whole time his goal was to make money and to please anybody he could by appearing to be happy by appearing to be thankful by appearing to be humble when all in reality like he could not care less about um he obviously did care about how many people were watching but he did not care who was watching he's just one of those people who were here to make money which is okay because youtube is a job but like respect the people respect the viewers i don't know how to say this but like youtubers you know they got money Unfortunately, I don't. That, their career, all of that was built on the back of the viewers. It was built with the viewers' trust. You know what I mean? You need their trust. You need a connection. He was just being whatever he had to be except for himself in order to obtain what he wanted to obtain. And he did. He did get what he wanted. <laughs> he was famous. He was, I think, at one point, the most subscribed beauty influencer. Obviously, those were his goals, was just to be big. And I think that's one reason why his downfall was so sudden and so bad because he was being this James Charles online, you know, being like the happy-go-lucky James Charles. Well, not really. He was still rude online, but for the most part, he was pleasant. I don't even know. But obviously behind the scenes, he was a disrespectful little rat. A fat rat. Might I add? He was being his true self behind the scenes, being a sabotager. I mean, obviously, we could probably safely say that he is a narcissist. Being that bad friend that sabotages you, that you can't trust, and a friend that doesn't have your best interest in mind, and that's where Tati really comes in. Actually, that's where, like, everything ties in together. Looking at James and his success, thanks to the viewers, but it's also thanks to people like Tati uh jeffrey you know like shane like all of those people around him like hyping him up and being like oh james charles like really you know what i mean is this like an a lick of sense the whole time behind the scenes he's just disrespecting them he does not care to keep up with what they're doing tati did expose him so he was disrespectful Disrespectful. He was disrespectful to everybody around him in his personal life, sabotaging what they do, trying his best to make sure that like he stays on top. And ultimately, what ended up happening to him was his worst fear. 
being irrelevant and hated. And it's funny because James Charles, you are now irrelevant. Well, you're not irrelevant yet. Um, his videos will probably continue to get like clock a million views here, probably clock two million, three million maybe if you're lucky. But he is now on the downfall. He is now never going to be where he once was because you lost our trust disrespected us and you took us for granted? Is that how you say it? His downfall, his greatest weakness was himself. It was his own actions. When his true personality and colors showed, when he finally was exposed and somebody had to say, hey, James Charles is a dick. You lost everything. That gets me to another point where feeling bad for him. I mean, I really don't feel bad for you, James. I really don't. And I don't even have to explain why I don't feel bad for you because you're an when your ass has been exposed. I hope the hate isn't getting to him. I hope, well, he probably is like struggling mentally now that nobody likes him. I hope he doesn't do anything irrational or anything while he's under all the stress. That's where I feel bad for him. But in like the career department, I really don't feel bad for you because people are making all these jokes being like, oh, he's gonna have to like go get a normal job. But that's the gag. He'll never really have to have a normal job, I don't think. He'll just fade away and become a makeup artist for like D-list celebrities. I'm not trying to sound rude or anything, but we all saw what happened with Logan Paul and all of that. Like we all knew, we have been new. I didn't know it was gonna happen to this extent, but like <laughs> seeing what went down, I was like, wow, he really must not be thankful. He really must not, he really just must not be thinking. And don't even get me started, don't even get me started on his predatory, predatory behaviors. Just he, watching Tati's video, which by the way, Tati's video was like so entertaining. Tati, don't have Tati, don't have Tati. And after watching Tati's video, I was like, okay, what's James doing? And so I went in the comments of Tati's video and everyone was like, James is asleep in Australia. And I was like, wake up. At first I was like, oh, he's gonna be angry. Like he's gonna, he's gonna try to come at this and to show his ass. But watching his video where he was like, <sighs> really did not address anything and was just pretending to be sad and pretending like he has emotion. There's just a lot of lessons to be learned in what went down with Jamie Lynn Charles. Lesson learned, be yourself, bitch. Get a job, own a business, bitch. Suck a dick. I have a lot of people that reach out to me and say, Luke, I want to start making videos. And I'm like, sis, do you have an iPhone? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, there you go. Like, there you go. The first like four or five videos on my channel were made on my phone on iMovie. Like you can do it. Where I'm getting at is just be yourself. <laughs> just be yourself. When I'm saying just be yourself, I'm honestly speaking to myself because my first YouTube channel was where I was, I was being characters and I was not ever really being myself. I was constantly putting on wigs and having an accent. I was just not being myself because I wasn't comfortable being myself. And also I thought being myself wasn't enough. I just thought people wouldn't watch if I was going to be myself. That's what I really struggled with on my new channel. Girl, we got some baggage. As somebody with low self-esteem, it's hard to be yourself, but it is worth it. It is worth it. YouTube makes it really easy to not be yourself. I mean, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there and you can just tell they're just, you know, on camera being like, <laughs> not being themselves. Does that make sense? I'm just gonna totally shift gears. James's content. He was always just emulating somebody else. Is that word? Just then again, not being himself, just doing what other people were doing, stealing other people's ideas, acting and behaving like other people. For example, this video circulated. Antonio Garza? She, you know, has a specific style of editing. Not only was James at one point copying, I know I copied the way Antonio and Emma edit. It honestly makes the editing process harder, but it makes it way easier because I can just, you know, have fun with it. But anyways, James would not only copy the editing styles, he would literally say word for word what they were saying. It just goes to show, James, you can act all big and tough. You can be all big and bad. But behind all of that, behind your mask, you're just as insecure as everybody else. I'm not trying to act savage here, but just reading those messages to those poor boys and how he treated Tati and Jeffrey? Just hearing that Tati and her husband would help James negotiate with these major brands and make him millions of dollars and they wouldn't take a penny. James, 
girl, what? What? Also, I just discovered this. I don't know if this is officially confirmed, but I've seen a lot of videos about it. Jeffree Star ran James Charles' merch line. It's safe to assume that Jeffree gave James a really, really good rate. James was probably making way more money than he would with just with any other supplier. I don't know. Jeffree was making him a sh ton of money and James went off and disrespected him as well. At first, when everybody started unfollowing him, I was like, mm, that's like kind of shady. But then I realized like all of these people that are unfollowing him stopped working with him months ago. Emma, Jeffrey, Tati, all of them, <laughs> like way back in the beginning of this year, they all stopped working with him because they knew. <laughs> They knew what we honestly knew. And on a whole nother completely different subject, you are an adult. It's not like you're 16 years old being like, I didn't know what I was doing with these boys, but what you were doing with those men, actually, what you were doing to those grown men, you were manipulating them. And reading, literally reading y'all's text messages, the screenshots, it just gave me Donald Trump vibes. You know what I mean? Like we all remember when Donald Trump said, grab him by the pussy. I mean, we all flipped our sh because it's inappropriate. And to hear you saying, I'm a celebrity, I'm this and that, thinking you are above anybody else and you have the right to take advantage and manipulate somebody. <sighs> Girl, take a seat and then take that seat and throw you in the seat away in the compact trash. Not even the recycling bin, in the compact trash. God, girl, get on! It sucks to see bad people succeeding. Does that sound bad? Just to see somebody that's not the greatest person to be held and to be admired, it's like, <laughs> no. What? We can look at other YouTubers, such as Jenna, Shane, probably countless others, of YouTubers that have changed and evolved with the platform, with the people. Shane and Jenna are two people that have feelings, that know what's going on, have good intentions, and that's why they have stayed on top for so long. They have had their dips in like popularity, I guess, and it's never been anything dire. Shane has literally blown up and has gotten so big, he's like, in the mainstream media now. James, as much as you like to talk big, talk about how you're a businessman, how you're smart, you're not. You're not smart. Look at you, alone at your lunch table, eating ducks because you can't afford a sandwich. And we can look at YouTubers like Michelle Fawn and Jeffree Star, business savvy people that are aware of what's going on with YouTube. They're like, okay, this isn't forever. I gotta make a jump. I gotta make a move. I gotta make a money move. And they both made their money moves. Michelle Fawn went on to create Ipsy, co-created Ipsy. Do y'all know how much Ipsy is worth? Girl, where's my Ipsy bag at? Like, I know I've got like three of them. And when I found out that was Michelle Fawn, I was like, wig flew, where'd it go? And Jeffrey with his makeup empire, those people know. They know what's up. They're not after fame and they don't really cherish fame. They cherish sustainability and Sustainability and what's another word? Sustainability, I gotta pee. Sustainability and consistency. They be consistent with those fat checks they be receiving. I bet you he was under the impression he would be famous his whole life. I bet you all of my Google AdSense. Which is not a lot. He thought he was gonna have a career. James Charles' demise and all of that and his lack of talent just shows that it really does take somebody of a certain caliber to make it and to have a career. You are a little sissy that was good at Facetune. I don't wanna seem like I'm celebrating the fall of James Charles or anything, but he has been on my timeline for so long, literally only for like a year now, but like, now, back to the whole boy situation surrounding James Charles. <laughs> James Charles. It's nasty, and it's manipulative, and it's horrible, and it's evil. What he was saying and doing to these people is evil. I don't really know. I don't really know what to say. But his fashion, fas fascination most likely stems from just like fantasy of like gay boy straight man. You know what I mean? It's obviously a huge fantasy for gay people to like have like an encounter with like a straight person. And as a gay person who did at one point in their life fantasize about a straight person and then actually having an experience with a straight person. God, it was awful and it will be my last. 
experience <laughs> what happened in between me and that straight person. I don't know. It was like barely mutual. You know, it wasn't weird. Nothing weird. I mean, it was weird, but like there was, I don't know. I just felt weird. You know what I mean? Because after I was like, could you see us being together at some point? And he's literally like, obviously says no because he's literally straight. It makes me uncomfortable. So I'm like, sis, I have to block. But to see somebody like James preying on these poor, not these poor people, I mean, they are poor. Like Tati said, this their sexuality is something they are going to be dealing with their whole life. And for James just to come along and treat it like a puzzle, First of all, it's a puzzle that can't be solved, James, by your dumb ass. Se dark, second of all, it's not a puzzle, it's a human being. It's somebody's struggle. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a touchy subject. And for you to just be messaging people being like, I'll give you this much, we can fly out here, I'll fly you out, we can fly spit, we gotta fly you out, we can go get a hotel room, and this person is literally like, I'm uncomfortable, can I bring a friend? And then James is like, no, you can't bring a friend. And like, James! What are we gonna do with James Charles? Well, we better know what we did, we unsubscribed. Okay, and that's honestly all we have to do to keep this poor man away from us. James Charles didn't hit me up, by the way, that was clickbait. But like, if James Charles did hit me up, this would be my fake, this is what, this would be, girl, speak. If James Charles did hit me up, he would have a fight on his hands, he really would. I'd be like, yeah sis, bring me to Coachella. And then as soon, as soon as I saw his loud, nasty face, post up and I'm not threatening you James don't sue me oh my god don't sue me don't sue me I'm broke and you're about to be broke too I guess this can't afford a lawsuit so did you really just make a whole video of you roasting this person yes and I've been waiting my whole life to make this video the amount of times I've had to see his face, the amount of times I've had to hear him sing, the amount of times I had to see his ass Hell yeah, I'm gonna make a video. Uh-huh. The AdSense made off of this video is going towards my therapy to deal with people like James Charles. This sounds bad. Just don't even get me started on his... It's sad for the viewers. I mean, when I read the comments of them being like, I actually liked you and to see this behavior, it's nasty. It's sad to read comments like that. People really do feel let down. That sucks, you know? To see somebody they liked for so long to just turn out to be a fraud is not fun. Changing the subject completely again, back to being yourself and everything like that and being honest. I am honest with my audience. I do tell you guys uh, too much, but I don't tell you guys everything because there is certain, there's just certain subjects in my life that I can't and I just won't share, you know, because it's not healthy. But for the sake of content, no, I'm kidding. We are all pretty similar. I mean, we all think the same, we all do the same things, we're all watching the same people. Majority of us do go through some of the same trials. Not everybody faces the same issues, so it does make me feel better to share some of those things with you guys. Just seeing everybody come out and share the experiences that they had, or just their one experience that they had with James Charles. We all saw James Charles try to hit up a married man. A married man? You can afford Tinder Plus. Use it, okay? Stay away from the taken and stay away from the straight. And you know what? It's just not anybody's place. Gabriel Zamora. <laughs> and the funny fact is, everybody was losing or gaining subscribers except for you because you're that irrelevant. And <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna keep talking. And I feel like I feel like one reason James was successful. He thrives off of controlling things. So I could imagine how it was really satisfying for him to control his online persona. You can control what's being seen. You can control what people hear you say. And when he finally lost that control, it all went away. I'm just gonna keep rambling because I'm gonna keep rambling. With my YouTube channel, I'm content with that. I am very happy with that. I'm very happy with the current state of it. I don't care that I'm not getting these astronomical views or anything. I am having fun and I do feel a genuine relationship when I'm speaking with the camera and reading y'all's comments make my day.
There is an unhealthy side of it where if I look at a video and it didn't meet my expectations, I guess, I do let that affect my mood. That's an aspect of YouTube that's not healthy, but that's something that we're dealing with, okay? For people like James Charles, who just wanted more, 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 not enough, not enough, not enough, no reason why it's all gone now. You never cherished it. That's what I'm saying. Watch your back. Burning and itching and burning and itching. Itching and burning and itching and burning. What happened with James goes to show how real this is and how real it can get and how not real it is and how it really doesn't matter. I feel like that's why this is happening to James to, to just teach him a lesson to be like, hey, you should not care about the numbers on the screen. Live your life and try to be happy. Be happy with what you got. Unless it's like actually really bad for you, try to get out of it, but be happy with what you have been given and be thankful. I am tired and I have to be again. The lesson we can learn from this is to just not be like James Charles. Want the best for those around you help those around you succeed and to prosper. Girl, I look rough. Maybe one day I'll just go get Botox with Tana Mojo and we can fix this. I'm still out here like, save Marina Joyce. Y'all remember that fiasco? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to get this off my chest. <laughs> Court adjourned, the door's that way. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Share this video with your friends if you have any and comment down below. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bye. Bye, it's always so awkward, bye.